Hi, this video is about the Kirigou Mathematics Contest. I'm going to show you the solution for the January 2016 Grade 9-10 Contest Question 21, which also came up in the Grade 11-12 Contest. So the question is, the number of pairs A, B of positive integers such that 1 over A plus 1 over B is equal to 1 over 4 is... Alright, let's consider the two cases for this question. And the first case is that A is equal to B. Alright, now if we know that A is equal to B, we can rewrite this as 1 over A plus 1 over A. And 1 over A plus 1 over A, it's just 2 times this, so it's 2 over A, which is equal to the 1 over 4. Okay, and now we can cross multiply and have A times 1, which is A, and this is equal to 2 times 4, which is equal to 8. So, we know that A is equal to 8, and B is equal to 8. And we can prove this by 1 over A plus 1 over 8. This is 1 over 4. So now we will make a table for the A and B, the pairs. Okay, and we have 8 and 8. So this will count as one pair since we can't just put 8 and 8 on the opposite. Alright, so this was the first case. So now let's consider the second case that A is not equal to B. So we will say that A is less than B. Now we don't need to write that B is less than A because it's just the same thing whether we put 1 over A plus 1 over B or 1 over B plus 1 over A. And also any pair that we get for A less than B, we write as from A, B, we write then B, A. So we are counting all the pairs. Okay, so now that we have A is less than B, let's think what values could A even have? All right, well, let's take a look at the equation again. So we have 1 over A plus 1 over B is 1 over 4. Well, as soon as a is less than 4, then this 1 over a, this fraction is already greater than 1 over 4, and we're still adding this 1 over b, so that already doesn't work. And of course, a can't be equal to 4, because then we have 1 over 4 plus this fraction is 1 over 4, and it would already be greater. Therefore, a must be greater than 4, so 4 is less than a. Okay, and now A must be less than 8, and I will show you why. Now, let's say that A is then greater than 8. Okay, well, let's rewrite this equation here. Well, what we have is we have 1 over A plus 1 over B, and we know that we can write the right side as 1 over A plus 1 over A. And we will do this because it makes it easier as then we have two fractions on both sides. Okay. Now, let's say that A is actually greater than 8. So that means that 1 over A is then actually less than 1 over 8. Now, since we have the two fractions here, one of the fractions would have to be greater than 1 over 8, and one would have to be less than 1 over 8, since they can't be the same, since that was the first case. But if we already know that, we know that 1 over a is greater than 1 over b, and if 1 over a is already less than 1 over 8, well, of course, 1 over b is less than 1 over 8, and we won't have a fraction which is greater than 1 over 8. So therefore, this will not work, and that, of course, A can't be equal to 8, because that would be just the same, the first case again. So, therefore, A must be less than 8. Okay, so that means that A is equal to 
5, a is equal to 6, and a can be equal to 7. So now we must see if these even work. Alright, now we know that a already has a value, so what we want to do is we want to isolate this 1 over b. So, we will have 1 over b is equal to, and the right side, 1 over 4, minus this 1 over a, which is, we know, 1 over 5, for a equals 5. And this is equal to, well, the common denominator between 4 and 5 is 20. And 4 goes into 25 times, minus, and 5 goes into 20 4 times. So 5 minus 4, which is equal to 1 over 20. And this works out because we wanted 1 over something, so this positive integer, and 1 over 20, well, 20 is a positive integer. So therefore, this works. So we have a is 5, and then b would be 20, and we can also have this vice versa. So 20 for a and 5 for b. Okay, let's look at a is equal to 6. Now the same thing. We will have isolate 1 over b, and this is equal to 1 over 4 minus this 1 over 6, since a is 6. Now the common denominator between 4 and 6 is 12. And 4 goes into 12 3 times, minus, and 6 goes into 12 2 times, so minus 2. So this is equal to 1 over 12, which again is perfect because we wanted b as a positive integer from the question, and we got 1 over 12. 12 is a positive integer. So this works. What we will have is a is 6, and b is 12, and again we can do this vice versa so that we have a is 12, and b is 6. Now finally, let's check for a equals to 7. Again, we will have to isolate for 1 over b, which is equal to 1 over 4 minus the 1 over 7, since a is 7. The common denominator between 4 and 7 is 28. And 4 goes into 28 7 times, minus and 7 goes into 28 4 times. So 7 minus 4 is 3 over 28. Well, 28, well, 3 is not a factor of 28, so we can't simplify this either any way. So 3 over 28 is the most simplified that this fraction can get. And since we want 1 over positive integer, this doesn't work because we have 3 over a number, 28. So therefore, a equals 7 does not work. So we have the one pair of a, b from the first case added on to the four pairs that we found for the second case. So altogether, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 pairs a, b of positive integers such that this is satisfied. So the answer, the correct option is e, 5. If you like to know more about this contest, please feel free to visit our website at caributests.com.